Hello everyone, it's Lily and Mark and we're here to talk to you about what it's like to be an entrepreneur. So if you're someone who's already an entrepreneur or you're looking into becoming one, keep on watching. Okay, so the first question is how hard is entrepreneurship? Hmm, on a scale of one to ten, I would say it's definitely a ten. It's the hardest thing we've ever done by far. I would have to agree it is uh, a ten compared to all other parts in my life, it's definitely a 10, yeah. And I mean, we've worked as full-time engineers. We went through engineering school. Mm -hmm. We taught ourselves mobile development. And just the business side of things is very hard. I think the reason why is because you don't have anyone there to like help you and tell you what to do unless you want to invest a lot of money in like a business right. coach. You know, all the business advice on the internet is very general. And so when you're running a specific business in a specific niche, you need very like tailored advice for your particular business. And that's why you hire a business coach. So to get free advice, um, it's very hard to get and um, no one's telling you what to do. So that's what makes entrepreneurship very hard. All right, so the second question is, how many hours a week do we work? So if you don't know anything about Mark and I, we've actually been in the entrepreneurship game for a little bit and we've learned a lot. So we've been entrepreneurs for a little bit less than two years working full time. So how many hours a week do we work? I would say right now we work probably 35 to 40 hours a week. Um, and that's because we've automated a lot of our tasks to where we don't have to continually do these mundane tasks. We can, you know, make them faster uh, by using software to automate those things. What do you think? Yeah, that's true. I would say when we do have a stretch of time where there's a lot of work, though, it could be more like 50 hours a week just because we do put in a lot of consistent work on yeah, a daily basis. It depends on what we're doing. So lately, we've been launching a lot of products on Instagram, trying to get Java Swift, um, our coding course academy started up. So recently, we've been working basically nonstop. But then there's periods of time where we just focus on maintaining our products and not necessarily actively launching new products or... Um, you know, heavily trying to sell products on Instagram. So really, I would say on average, we work more like 50 hours a week, and that's a total average. But there's some weeks where we only work, you know, 30 to 40 hours. And then there's weeks where we work 50 to 60 hours. So it really just depends on what we've put in the queue, what products we're launching and what our goals are for that month. Right. Okay, third question. What is it like to be in a relationship with your co founder? So a lot of you guys probably don't know this because I don't really talk about this on Instagram very much um, or on YouTube, but <laughs> we're actually in a relationship and we are also co-founders in our business. So our story is basically we met uh, when we were both full-time engineers and we kind of were bored. <laughs> Honestly, we weren't like satisfied in our full-time engineering jobs. And so we kind of saw the potential that we had together since we we're both engineers and we were both very interested in software. And so we thought that gives us a lot of potential to actually create this life that we want to have, which is more of a remote life where we make a passive income. That's our ultimate goal to do together um, so that we can travel and stuff. But I think that working with Mark is the best decision that I've ever made because it really strengthens our relationship a lot because we're really like a team, not only in the relationship, but also in the business. I like to say the reality is there's always going to be pros and cons for this kind of a situation. Um, obviously, spending time with someone, um, there's naturally you're going to want to just like keep pushing each other. So it's just uh, there can be times where it can be more tense. But the really good part of being in a relationship with your co-founder is you just every aspect of your life is then really strengthened you know if we make a meal together we can make it really fast and <laughs> make it really tasty and if we make a product together we can launch it and make it great on the back end and the front end exactly another thing is that there are so many hard times in entrepreneurship you're going to go through so many hard times and it's really nice to have someone there that understands exactly what you're going through because the one thing about being an entrepreneur is that most likely almost no one will understand your life or your mindset, any of that stuff. And so it's really nice to have Mark because we just kind of understand each other. We understand what we're going through and we help each other through the hard times. So that's my favorite part.
Also, you're not holding each other back. Like if, if Mark was a full-time engineer and I was a full-time entrepreneur, I would feel like it would be really hard for me to relate to Mark because he wouldn't understand what I'm going through. So the fact that we can just relate to each other 100% is amazing. All right, the next question is, what is a day in the life of an entrepreneur like? Well, this is going to differ for, uh, you know, depends on what type of company, what type of product, and honestly, where you're located. For us, we're remote entrepreneurs, so we just travel around month to month, uh, living out of Airbnbs, and we just work in our bedrooms. So we take apart our desk and our chairs every month, pack up, move to the next location, and then you know, unpack again. But I would say our day is usually... I would say what's nice about um, when we're doing a variety of things. So on the daily basis, we kind of just talk at the beginning and sort out what we need to do for the day. Mm -hmm. And that's really all that's important, you know? Yeah. So we wake up, we haven't set an alarm in two months, which tells you that we're very excited about working and we actually love what we're doing. So we wake up naturally around 530 every morning. And if we're under like intense pressure, like a deadline's coming up, then that usually gets pushed back to like 430. We'll wake up naturally just to like, cause we're in that work mindset. And then after that, we, um, get all of our social media stuff done out of the way and we have a meeting with what we plan on doing during that day and then after that we go work separately on our different tasks um, until about maybe five or six some nights it goes to seven and eight but it depends on if we have a deadline coming up um, usually after about five or six o'clock we stop and take a break and eat dinner and just be done with work for the night and go to sleep around like nine o'clock um, so we get most of the time eight hours of sleep and we work a full day. But also some days if we feel like we need to relax, then we relax. I would say the most important part is you just got to take care of yourself. And if you need a break, you just, you have to take a break in order to continue. So it's pretty simple. The last topic is going to be the pros and cons of being an entrepreneur. So let's talk about the pros first. I would say the first pro is you have 100% flexibility over what you do and what you work on, which is literally my only priority in life is to have that type of flexibility. You tend to just, you know, have a good sleep because you adjust kind of your schedule to make sure that you're maximizing your productivity. You know, obviously if we're tired, we're gonna sleep in that morning and then start working. So I think that's just really good for the business when you're always making sure that you're taking care of yourself, you know? Okay, so the cons, I would say you're gonna have to work two to three years for absolutely no money with no results, no rewards, and no one telling you that you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. That's the reality of it. There's no overnight success. Um, and I honestly don't think that's because we suck or anything, but I literally think that there's a huge misconception in entrepreneurship that uh, people like to sell you stuff because they're going to sell you the idea of you're going to succeed overnight and that's just a marketing tactic to get you to buy their stuff. So, but real entrepreneurship, you have to put in the work for years before you see any type of return. And honestly, Mark and I are just now getting to the point where we're seeing returns on our investments. Um, the years of working full time on our business is just now starting to pay off. So, um, that's something that you need to expect and be okay with uh, because that is the reality of entrepreneurship. And I wouldn't really say that's a con because if you're passionate about what you are doing, then you won't care if you get paid because you're going to be optimistic that you will keep working until you get a return on your investment. Yeah, absolutely. That's true. And also uh, the truth is with the cons is it can be very difficult to get an answer tailored for what you're trying to do with your business. And so you kind of have to just, you know, figure things out on your own. And that's obviously a challenging thing to do, but with enough time, you can and start failures. Honestly, I think your best time. teacher is going to be your mm -hmm. failures. Cause that's going to put you in a mindset of like, what did I do wrong? And then that's going to put you more in a mindset of figuring out the solution or different strategies. So entrepreneurship is like this big experiment and you just have to keep trying different things until you find something that works for your business. All right guys. Yep. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a video from us. All right. Can't wait to see you guys next time. See you next time.